You have redeemed us, O Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us into a kingdom of priests for our God. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to this celebration. And today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Albina and Joseph Kaimoto. And as we pray for Albino and Joseph Kaimoto, let's also remember up, we pray to the author of our salvation so that when our Savior comes again in majesty, those you have given new birth in baptism may be closed with blessed immortality. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Galo was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Galio spoke to the Jews, If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria together with Priscilla and Aquila. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is a great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God is king of all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ had to suffer to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory, alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he'll give you. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he'll give you. My dear sisters and brothers, we are also very familiar with another version of this teaching about prayer as Ma Matthew tells us. In the Sermon on the Mount, he would say, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened. Or again, in the gospel according to St. Luke, Jesus would say, Which of you, if your son were to ask for a fish, would give him a stone? Or if he were to ask for an egg, would hand over a stone to him? And then he would go on to say, Evil as you are, you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And so, I'd like to connect the reading of the Gospel of the day, the teaching about prayer, with this verse from Luke. How much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And so, two things we need to note. When we pray for anything in Jesus' name, and when we have in us the mind and the heart of Jesus in us as we make our prayer, that is when God grants us all our prayers. If I were to pray that I win the lottery tomorrow, I'm sure that prayer will not be answered for that may not be to my long-term well-being. And God knows that. And that is why when we pray, we need to have in us the mind and the heart of Jesus. That is when we pray through Jesus in the Holy Spirit to the Father. That is when a prayer is really made through Christ. In fact, you may have noticed that every one of our prayers, be it the collect or the prayer over gifts or prayer after communion, they all conclude with, we ask this through Christ our Lord. And so, that through Christ our Lord, that phrase has a special meaning. It means that as we pray, we have in us the mind and the heart of Jesus. It means that we pray in the Holy Spirit. It means we pray that God's will may be done in our lives. And that is one prayer that God always hears and grants. And so, as a practice going forward, 
And Jesus has taught that very clearly in the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Let's pray that God's kingdom may come. Let's pray that his will may be done. And let's pray for our daily bread and God will give it to us. And daily bread is whatever we need for that day to live out Christ's life in us. And let's also pray for the forgiveness of sins that God may preserve us from all evil. And so, when we pray, let's have in us the mind and the heart of Jesus. And let's pray in the spirit to the Father and our prayer will always be answered. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we share Christ's divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Albina and Joseph Kaimoto, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co to of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we pray the Lord's Prayer, let's uh, remember to pray for all our intentions. We would like to pray for all those in need and for all those that face health challenges. And uh, I would also invite you to pray for Anne Flack. All is well with her. Let's pray that God may bless her with good health. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Christ was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Keep us safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection. And we pray that you bless Albina and Joseph Kaimoto with eternal rest through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today being Friday, let's pray together. The prayer of abandonment. Thank you for your patience. Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I'm ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
I offer it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself to surrender myself into your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence. For you are my Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And today being Friday, I'd like to remind you that at 7 p.m. we'll have the adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. And tomorrow evening, we'll have the drive-by reconciliation and uh, communion. You are welcome to participate. May God be with you.